Hi, it's Lynette here. So I've had to come down here to sit on the floor to show you what I've done in this video. So I've done a homemade advent calendar. Now, I, I tapped one last year, but I didn't show you what I put in it. Now, I reused the glossy box um, from 2018, I think it was. And I made my sister last year a beauty advent calendar. So this year, I thought I would do another one. And I was chatting to one of my friends who said to me, why don't you show people what you've done? So... I thought I would undo all my hard work. <laughs> so if you can't remember what the Glossy Box Advent Calendar looked like that year, it was this beautiful rose gold. Weighs a ton! <laughs> and um, I'll just pull the days out. Now, I probably forget where I am and miss out a day, but um, hey-ho, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Um, so day number one, what did I put in? Oh, I put in a little mini um, benefit, Bad Girl Bang. I love this mascara, actually. So um, <laughs> I do well to, to kind of give it up because I discovered that it's smudge proof and it actually doesn't make my eyes water. So day number one, day number two. What did I put in day number two? Little box here. Day number two. <laughs> Oh, um, I put in a Tissarand um, Pulse Point Roller Ball. There we go. If I was any good at editing this, by the way, I would edit these bits all out so you wouldn't have to suffer this, but I'm not. So thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> Day number three, quite a big box here. Oh, um, yeah, I got one of these for myself and then I got another one. Um, so it's a lavender bath melt from Miss Patisserie. I'll show you out the packaging. It's cupcake. So it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I know that my sister will enjoy that. It did make my bath pretty slimy, <laughs> oily. So I did have to be careful when I came out. But yeah, it's a lovely, lovely, um, lovely lavender scent. Hardly a surprise that it's lavender, is it? <laughs> so day number four. Day number four. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? So I've made advent calendars for the kids as well. So uh, once I've finished them, I'll show you what's in them. So day number four is a Hask um, charcoal hair mask purifying deep conditioner. So for all hair types. So kirsty has got really fine, thin hair. Um, really fine straight hair as well, unbelievably. <laughs> So she'll get lots of uses out of this. And um, I I love the Hask hair masks. They're one of my favourite hair masks of all the time. Yep. So day number five. Day number five. Oh, this is a bit of a, there's some bits and pieces in here. I put three items in this. So I gave her a Jarlique um, Rose um, Foaming Skin Cleanser. And as you know, that is one of my favourite products. So, um, yeah, I must have been feeling generous when I popped that in. The um, Ico, is it? The Ico Eyeliner. This is amazing. So my sister's always done an eyeliner in the same way. She's always done a winged eyeliner, but she does it th finer than me. Um, so she'll, she'll definitely use this. And I popped in a Pixie endless silky eye pen and um, yep I've got one of those for myself as well there we go so day number six I have written it down because last year I get messages saying, what did you get today? And she must have been like, what are you talking about? You gave it to me. So I popped in a MAC, um, MAC Chili um, lipstick. I know that she likes MAC. But when you've got two kids, you can't always kind of buy all the makeup that you want, can you? Um, day number seven. The box here. If it was one of these kind of proper YouTubers, I would just cut to the day, wouldn't I? And you wouldn't see any of the rest of this. Um, yep, I picked it up. Uh, the Ordinary Natural Moisturising um, 
face cream because she absolutely loves the brand. I love The Ordinary as well. Um, I got sent quite a few wee bits recently from Jo, Jo Smith. She sent me an eye cream and a hyaluronic acid. Um, so I use those every day. But it's the only skincare I think my sister uses. I've, I've offered her Elemis and she just, don't think it agrees with her skin type. So day number eight. Oh, it's quite a big one. Day number eight, what's in here? I'm just saying, I've um, yeah offered it, but it's the Elemis Warm Tonka um, hand cream. So I got that set a couple of times. Um, so I have a few <laughs> Elemis hand balms. So it's only nice sometimes to share, isn't that? Day number nine. Here we go. It's quite good for me because I've forgotten what I've put in. Oh yeah, this is a hair mask. Um, okay, coconut oil hair mask with jeju kiwi fruit. Um, so yeah, it comes. Um, it's got the it's got the hair the the hair thing with it. If I could remember what you call it. Yeah, the hair cap type thing, the shower cap type thing. So it has that with it. So you put the treatment on, then put the shower cap on, and you can leave it. Leave it and go. And I've actually saved up a bag of black wormies. Um, just for if I do this again, I don't know. I've done it two years running for my sister. Um, and I know she really likes it. But Freya said to me that she would like for her Christmas the same advent calendar that I'd given her mum but I've given her I've used last year's John Lewis advent calendar so my friend bought that for me um and she gave me hers for the kids but they're both different so day number 10 so I don't know if she'll still be jealous of her mum's one who knows what children are like um so I've given her here um a Dr Organic um ultra hydrating mask and a lovely little um Yankee candle I think she will enjoy that. I'm just trying to pick up all the wormies. If anybody knows a good editing tool, please let me know. I've tried it on the free ones and I just can't, cannot, oh, can't actually sit on the floor for very long either. So I'll try and speed them up. I'm trying to speed up. If it wasn't for the fact I would never remember where these all went, I would take them out and not bother putting them back in while I was chatting to you. So, day number 11. Day number 11. So I was chatting to Bryony and she was saying, why don't you, because she's doing the same, she was like, why don't you do that? Because you've made up your advent calendars. And I was like, would anybody want to see it? So I'm hoping you do, guys. Um, so I popped in a foaming cleansing bar. I love these. Um, they come in a little net bar. And it's I never use soap on my face, but this is fantastic. My husband says it, it leaves them with skin that feels kind of squeaky clean. I only use it maybe once or twice a week. So you keep the soap in the net, and then you rub the the net and the soap under some water, but you use the foam. That's fantastic. So day number 12, oh, this is a big one. Day number 12. So I've just made it a 24 day advent calendar because the Huda, the box that was 25 that had the Huda highlighter in it, it was just falling apart. Oh yes. I got these for our, the Molten Brown Heavenly Ginger Lily um, shower gel and body wash and she will enjoy those. I always say to Steve though, like, if we have this joke, because I, ha I have um, a few Molten Brown products and I'm always like, the bigger ones are about 22 quid and I've had them for gifts um, from friends and things. Um, and I always keep them for special occasions. But I always say to Steve, you just wouldn't appreciate it. 
And he says, no. So um, <laughs> I put them on the top shelf of the, in the shower and he never touches them. So he's really good. So day number 13, although my sister-in-law said that was rotten, but I was like, he understands it. That's a 22 pound shower gel and he just uses it like it's a pound shower gel. So he's not bothered. So this next one is a wee Yankee candle and it's pink sands. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I think that came from my Mother's Day Advent calendar. No Advent calendar. Um, the Yankee did a special offer. And it was the same as the previous year's one, actually. So all the candles were the same. Um, but I picked that up from Boots for £25. I also missed the Boots offer on the candle but I, this year. But I found them elsewhere. Um, I think it was a candle factory. So day number 14, because what Boots had done is they'd put them on offer for £25, then it sold out, then it brought it back at £50, then it took it down to £34.95 and then for Black Friday put it on for £24.99. So this is another hair mask, um, anti-fade formula, Joe Hansford, expert colour care intensive mask. So yep, because my sister's got highlighted hair. Um, I'm sure she'll appreciate the masks. However, she'll probably only use a small amount compared to me because her hair is fine. She was the one that told me about a hair mask that I might actually review. And she gave me it as a treat one time for watching the children. Well, it took them both overnight. Um, was it last year? It was before, before coronavirus and they went away for a lovely um, weekend away up north. Um, and I got a few things as a retreat from her and one of them was a hair mask. It was in day number five. Oh, it's um, Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion. I love it. I do love it. But I did have a couple of those, so I could have put a couple in, but I thought, no, just one. There we go. Um, day number 16. Box here. Yeah, I'd had most of the products and was trying to pick boxes and stuff to put them in. So it wasn't my, my finest moment. Oh yeah, NARS lipstick. So it's Tulaid and um, it's a little mini NARS lipstick. So I think she'll like that. <laughs> it's quite funny because I was saying to Kirsty, I'm doing Freya's advent calendar and she loves makeup. So I'm doing it a mixture of like makeup and sweets because I thought if I do Lachlan's one, Guaranteed, if I put a chocolate bar in one of Lachlan's days and I give Freya a lipstick, all hell is going to break loose. I know it. So I've matched up days where they've got chocolate. So they've both got chocolate and days where Freya's got makeup. Um, Lachlan's got something different. But I was saying to my sister, I'm like, I can't believe I'm putting a NARS lipstick and a Kat Von D mascara or KVD. It's not Kat Von D anymore, is it? And a six-year-old advent calendar. My sister said she might have to keep it safe. So day number 17. I have to keep them safe for her. <laughs> day, oh, day number 17. And it is the um, Replenishing Jeju Island Hydrogel Mask. I've done that for my mum as well. My mum loves masks. Um, it's just the type of thing. She, I don't think she even... She didn't even like know about sheet masks. She'd never tried a sheet mask. Um, so for her, face masks were the kind of thing that you put on and you washed off. And a lot of people can't be bored with that. Um, so I gave her a few sheet masks. So she absolutely loves them. So I'll probably do the same for my mum. I've got her a Lazero set, but... I popped it in the, the box that the Elemis came in because it came in a beautiful, it had a beautiful goodie bag, bo goodie bag? It had a beautiful box. Um, so I popped it in that, but I thought I could um, add some different bits and pieces to it as well. Day number 18. I'm getting out of breath doing this. Gosh, I'm so unfit. Oh, Polar um, Micellar Water. There we go. Day number 19. I've popped in here. Oh, it's the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. I think I've popped one of those in three hours as well. <laughs> yeah. 
She doesn't wear it out of the house or anything. She just wears it in the house. She said she's going to do YouTube videos and just send them to me. I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> she did have a ring light and things. She wants a YouTube camera for her Christmas. I was like, I think the novelty might wear off for you. So day 20. She can have like my old digital camera or something. I discovered it last week and I spent about half an hour trying to get the film out of it. Until Steve said, it looks like the film should go in there, but it's digital. <laughs> so this is the Wella Invigo Colour Brilliance um, with Lime Caviar Vibrant Colour Mask for hair. There's quite a few hair products in here, actually. Um, it wasn't deliberate. It was just the way it happened and the things that I kind of ordered to pop in. A lot of these things have come from Latest in Beauty. Day number 20, day number 21, 21. Oh, I love this. Um, Being by Sanctuary Spa Caramel Comforting Cake on Face Mask. Yep, I've got a few of these. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous stuff. Um, again, I think it's still on Latest in Beauty. Christmas for me honestly even though I'm not keeping it I'm kind of like oh British Rose from the body shop instant glow body butter I got that in a wee set last year but it fits <laughs> it so yeah it did get to the point where I was kind of like do I have anything do I own anything that can fit these boxes so yeah I did raid my own stash as well um just because <laughs> trying to fill up an advent calendar box when you're not considering the size of the packages are all different. I just ordered things and then added it. All right. Um, so this is a little um, Superdrug face mask duo. So I popped this in. So it's um, before the party and after the party. And it was Joe Smith that gave me one of these. Um, and it's just such a fab idea. The two in one. So day number 23. So last but not least. Oh. Oh, this is a good one. This is one that I gave up just for my wee sister. That is how nice I am. I don't know if she has any idea how expensive these candles are. If I was to buy one in real life. Um, it's Neon Organics London. A real luxury scented candle. And the scent is de-stress. And I thought, see for day 24, Christmas Eve. Now, um, when you've got two children and you're working... At the moment, she's working six days a week. Um, this is actually, if I could have fitted some vodka in, <laughs> I would have done, but there you go. And the smell is absolutely stunning. So I thought she can pop that candle on and de-stress. She's done the kids, like their Christmas bedroom at the moment. She sent me pictures today. So she always does like a window. So she frames it and then puts the fake snow in the little tree. And um, she's bought them new bed in. So it's all feeling very festive. And they'll get their advent calendars tomorrow. However, um, Hawkins Bazaar have <laughs> kind of let me down a wee bit. I'm waiting on a delivery from them, so I'm hoping it arrives tomorrow and I can drop off the advent calendars. But she says they don't know about the advent calendars, so it'll just be, you know, if they get to open a couple of days in one, it's fine. But a bit disappointed I couldn't drop them off so they could have them on the day. So anyway, guys, what do you think? Would you be delighted to receive an advent calendar for this? Because I could do it as a giveaway for next year. Um, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.